FreedomMunitions.com presents The High Road with Keith Warren. We hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has a country like this. Wide open, wild stuff, and I love it. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. For me, hunting is the ultimate pursuit. We need to get out of here. This is danger zone. Who was the big bear? A connection with nature that only a hunter can experience. I've spent my entire life perfecting my skills, braving the elements in pursuit of my prey. The wild is where I belong. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. Join me and take the high road. The gun is dead on, and I am extremely excited. It's a cool morning here in the Eastern Cape of South Africa, and I brought along my 270. This is second year in a row I've come over here to Hunter's Hill Safaris on a Plains Game Safari. And people will say, well, why are you shooting a 270? Now this particular rifle, it's a savage, lightweight hunter. And the reason why I like this rifle, first off, I've used it all the way over New Zealand, to Canada, to Mexico. I've used it for all kinds of big game animals and it packs a powerful punch. But the reason why I like the lightweight hunter is because with a scope on it, it weighs in at seven pounds. And on this safari, I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking up some really steep stuff. So if I can shed some weight off a rifle, and by doing so, uh, it just makes it a little bit easier. I'm less fatigued at the end of the day. Anyway, I know the rifle is accurate. I know it's sighted in, I can count on it. So let's go ahead and get this hunt started. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Look on our eyes. Give me an arrow. He blew right through it, didn't he? Look at him. Kicking all that burn now. Look at the blood coming out. Oh, I love it. Deal. Cheers. Sucker. Sucker feet. Wait for the stop. Wait for the stop. You're the evil stop. There you go. Down. Wow. <laughs> it's a bit of excitement. I'm Bruce Nylon. I've been personally guiding for 18 years. We're sitting on 82 different species of animals to hunt. A lot of people think coming over to Africa is very expensive, but our prices are very competitive. In fact, I think you could do a seven day hunt for less than it would take you to shoot a white tailed deer in the States. Our clients range from people that have never hunted before to people that have been to Africa 20 times. We also specialize in taking little children out hunting and we get a lot of wives to start their first safaris with us. Mid-April through to mid-August is sort of into our winter, so that's when the temperatures are a little bit cooler, the animals are more active during the day, and the trophies, especially our kudus and our water dogs go into full rut. That's an awesome time to be hunting in South Africa. A spot and stalk hunt for an old kudu bull is about as challenging as you could ever imagine. Kudu are big and their senses are top notch and in this country, getting close enough to one for a good shot has proven to be a challenge. One in the back, right? Right at the back. Okay, we stopped shooting. Okay, you on him, Josh? Yeah. The one in the back. He's right at the back. Turn sideways, buddy. Come on. He stops. He ain't gonna just keep butts to me. Can't 
do it. I won't do it. You can't get him now? Still Hell no. no. I'm not doing it. That's a small bull in the back. That's a nice bull though. But the bigger bull went over the hill. Oh well. Cooter are very, very, very hard to hunt. We're trying to kill a big kudu bull, and a kudu is probably about as challenging of an animal out here as there is to, to do on a spot and stalk. Uh, we've been after this booger now uh, since daylight, and uh, anyway, the wind is now perfectly wrong. It's right over our backs. Uh, and so that was the best opportunity we've had. And it was about 400 yards away, and it was a butt shot, and he was going, and there was no way I was going to take it. Uh, bunch of kudu there. It's just a matter of uh, staying on it. See if we make some mistakes, see if we get the wind in our favor and uh, we can get a good solid rest and take him down. That's a nice bull. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Reconyx, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feed, Burt Coyote's Luminoc, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%. Ion cameras, Tannerite, and Bloodsport. The High Road will be right back. Well, you really think we can get a cootie today? I hope you brought your hiking boots. Kudu. Day one didn't work out too well for us. It worked out real nice for Kudu. But this particular spot right here, I love it because I busted a big blue wildebeest last year right down there. But we're going to see what we can do as far as Kudu go. Water yeah, yeah. Where's the bull one? Is it normal for them just the cows? And I see what they're doing. They've come in for that salt there, some of the minerals in that ground there. Maybe the big males laid up somewhere under a tree or something. But if we just keep easing along this ridge here, just keep lowering out of sight and see if we can see any other animals this side. We don't get skyline. How far out there is that? Yeah, it's a long way. Way too far to shoot. <laughs> yeah. Wow. There's that kudu, there's that kudu. Come, 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 come. He's seen us, he's running already. Come. <laughs> Stop, he's gonna stop. Okay. Come on, buddy, stop. There you go, there you go. 300, 300 yards. I'm gonna go. 300 yards. <laughs> that could have went straight down. <laughs> That's shooting. That is unreal. I thought he was gone for all money. When he saw us, I didn't think he was gonna stop running. Oh my gosh. Well, now we've, got I mean, a, now we've got a real kudu on camera. Uh, much nicer uh, kudu than last year. Holy smokes, now the whole deal is how do we get to him? That's the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll just call the trackers and <laughs> see if they can give us a hand. Oh my gosh, fabulous. This, this cliff has become my favorite cliff on the ranch. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's figure out how to get down from here. Fell right where he stood there. Absolutely just fell over in his tracks. Look <laughs> at this bull kudu. Look at this. You know, when everybody, I guess, has different things when they think of Africa, what comes to their mind. But for me, as an African big game hunter, the kudu comes to my mind. I mean, number one. I mean, look at them. They are just so classy looking and majestic. and. The spiral of the horns, and kind of ivory tipped up here. This is just beautiful. And a kudu has it all. I mean, when you think about it, yeah. you know, they got the big ears. They can hear you coming from a mile away with all these rocks like that. I mean, that's why we had such difficulty. And they've got big eyes and a great big nose. And their sense of smell is incredible. And I, I guess, comparatively speaking, I would think this would be like doing a spot and stalk hunt for a white-tailed deer. Would be. I mean, they, they're be. absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> Well, it could not have happened any better. I mean, this is my new favorite place on the entire ranch. And Bruce, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> well done there, Keith. There's a hell of a shot under the circumstances and the pressure we had to do it under. Yeah, but I mean, he stopped and yeah, uh, yeah. That, was, that was incredible. Now, if somebody wants more information on Hunter's Hill Safaris, what do they need to do? Just visit our website. That's the simplest, I'd say. Hunter'sHillSafaris.co.za. And we will have a direct link off of uh, our website to Bruce's website and uh, check it out. I mean, Hunter's Hill Safaris is it. What a beautiful bull and I am so grateful for the opportunity to be here. Woo! Nice. Let's get him in the salt before the sun goes down. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite. The entire line of Food Saver Game Saver vacuum sealing systems. BSA Optics. Camo Adult Precision Air Rifles, Ion Cameras, and FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back. Hanoi Brand Binary Exploding Rifle Targets presents viewer feedback. Henry from North Carolina writes, I noticed you're using a Liberty gun safe. I wanted to let you know how happy I am with mine. I had a cheaper safe until it was broken into and all my guns were stolen. It upset me so much because I would still have my dad's rifle if I had a better safe. So I invested in a Liberty a few years ago and it's awesome. Henry, uh, I invested in a Liberty years ago and it is awesome. There are lots of gun safes on the market, but it, just like most things in life, you get what you pay for. You know, you, whether you're putting guns in it or jewelry or, or family documents, you know, uh, a safe is a real important investment. And it's something that I would encourage you to don't skimp on. Um, if, if you have a safe and it's not a Liberty Safe or you're interested in buying a safe, I would encourage you to go to the Liberty Safe website and take a look at some of the videos that they have on there. And I think it's undeniable after you watch them, you're gonna be blown away and you're gonna realize that they really are the best safes on the market. So Henry, thanks for the email. All species of animals need to be managed, including giraffes. And on this hunt, the particular giraffe that Colton is after is an old bull, one that is preventing the younger bulls from doing the breeding. Therefore, the bull must be taken from the herd. And just just have a look around here, see if you can see any giraffe here. Yeah. All right. These trees are pretty tall, but yeah. we should still be able to see their heads above the treetops. Let's just keep playing up this gun. All right. That's it. That's it. Okay. You have to make sure you shoot him while his head's turned like that. Right. And you want to run be steady. Okay, he's in good position. Ready for me to shoot? Let's see. Here we go. Oh. It's going straight on. 
The canvas just goes closer, okay. Go closer. Okay. So just make sure you put another out on it. Just okay. make sure you didn't get up. Gotta be careful here. Put a, put, a, put a second round in it, because okay. my are off behind you. Yeah, yeah. Come around this way, this is let him... Just get away from those feet. What an incredible animal, Bruce. I think he was done with the first shot, wasn't he? No, he was done, but the, the, the whole idea is just to put them, put them lights out properly, you know? Yeah, well, I know we've seen uh, quite a few giraffes while here in the in the Eastern Cape, but I haven't seen one with this coloration before. He's got a good coat on it, very dark colored. Isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's very old, Colton. You know, and also a giraffe like this, the older they get, they get to a stage where they could even go sterile, and the younger bulls never get to breed your females. You know? Yeah. So it's times like this that these old guys we have to take one out now and again just to manage our herds. You know? Right, right. Well, one thing I didn't realize, and I think the folks at home need to know, is that uh, giraffes need to be managed just like any other animal. And uh, this one in particular was one that was very aggressive. He needed to get culled out. And like you said, you know, there's always the problem with we want to make sure that there's new genetics, that there's genetic diversity in the herd. And this was one that just wouldn't allow the younger bulls to breed. So I'm very happy with him. This is by far the biggest animal that I've ever taken. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Bruce, this thing's got to weigh, what, 2,000 pounds, you think? Close to that. Wow. So, uh, what's next? What are we going to do with it? Well, what, what we do, you know, e even before we plan this hunt, we, we, we plan what we're going to do with this animal. We already have a meat truck coming. Mm -hmm. We're going to have about eight to ten skinners. You know, the, the meat's very edible. It, it will be used in one of the processing plants. And this, this rug here will be tanned and, and, and end up on somebody's living room floor. Great. So nothing's going to go to waste. And we're going to take care of the hide, the meat, the skull. Everything's going to get used. Every single part of this animal will be used. Thank you, Bruce. Really appreciate it. Yeah. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Liberty Safe, OpticsPlanet.com, Darton Archery, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Blue Rock Outfitters, and the Texas Deer Association. The High Road will be right back. Last year I wound up taking a crossbow to hunt for baboons and I was able to take a couple of good ones on camera. But the hunt you're gonna see now is by far in my opinion the best of the best of all the baboon hunts I did while I was in the Eastern Cape. Boy, this Sambar deer loves those oranges. Oh, look who just showed up, the old man. The old man's coming in here, guys. Look at how old he is. He's got all that gray on him. <laughs> it's going to get ugly on that baboon right quick. Oh, come on in here. took one for the high road team. I like that. Watch out for that hole right there. Big old hole. All right, that baboon was sitting about right there. And here is the arrow, the baboon spear. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and set that in right here. And I'm gonna show you what a big boar baboon looks like. 
All right, check this out. Big old boar baboon. Look how long his arms are. And look at the size of the, that hand on him. I mean, this is a big old male. You can tell by the coloration on him. He was all gray, and I'll bet he's got some chompers on him. Look at this. Ho, 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 ho. Folks, look at those teeth on him. I mean to tell you that would do some damage. And I absolutely love hunting these guys. As I watch the sunset on the final day of my African safari, I think back on all that I've seen and I reflect on these special times just as I imagine the African Bushmen did long ago. All those centuries separate us in time. I think that we do have one thing in common with the Bushmen that lived here. We come here for the joy of the hunt. The High Road with Keith Warren has been presented by FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. Closed captioning for The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you by Keith Warren's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, the best value in Texas trophy whitetail hunting.